Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how to create groups of entities to enable more efficient selection as well as organization and modification of their attributes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a group of domains. So I'm going to select my domain mask, and I'm going to come here and I'm going to select the domains for my main wing and create a group, and I'll call it wing. If we look, we now have a domain type group called wing that has three entities in it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the tail. I'm going to create a group of domains for the tail. So I now have two groups. Now if I want to select those groups, I have to select the domain mask as well as the group mask. And now I can come here and I can select these groups. And you'll notice that when I select the tail group, it automatically selects all four of those domains. So you can see it really enables more efficient selection. So if you find that you're going to be modifying a group of entities frequently, I suggest creating a group. Then you can select it and modify their attributes, their display attributes, maybe their solver attributes. If it's connectors, you can modify their dimension or distribution very rapidly. Okay. Now the nice thing about groups is an entity can exist in multiple groups, unlike layers, where an entity can only exist in a single layer at a time. So you can think of groups as tags. You're essentially tagging a, a specific entity. So I'm going to select both of these groups. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to create a new group and call it wing tail. So now wing tail consists of seven domains, but those domains actually exist in other groups as well. Okay, So you can create larger collections um, for selection purposes or modification of attributes. Now, you can create groups for different entity types and point-wise, domains, blocks, connectors, database entities. So why don't we create a connector group, call it tipcons. You'll notice I have a new group with my wingtip and horizontal stabilizer tip connectors. I could then quickly select these and adjust their dimension or distribution. Now if I wanted to add or remove connectors from this group, I could go edit group. And maybe we want to add some root connectors to this group as well. Click OK. So I've now added connectors to that group. If I want to get rid of the group, I can then go edit ungroup and it'll get rid of the group. So that's groups in a nutshell. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.